So the Pantry is a premium edibles company that launched today, or that will launch today at Hall of Flowers, which is a cannabis trade show focused on premium products. So the emphasis here is really on the edible itself. Uh, it's going to be, right now there are a, a, a chef curated menu of nine items. There's going to be um, some ganaches, some gummies infused with real fruit, and even keto balls. So healthier for you options that also happen to have THC in them. And let's get back to Rosen here too. How does Rosen plan to differentiate from all of the other cannabis edibles companies that's in the market? So as I mentioned, it's it's really the emphasis here is on the ingredients. Yeah. So right now, if you go to the store, not in New York, obviously, as a recreational buyer, but if you go to the store and get a cannabis edible, what you're really getting is the THC or say CBD, and then the sort of cookie or chocolate or gummy is kind of an afterthought. So what he's doing is putting ingredients that consumers actually know what they are. Mm. Uh, they're better for you, so no high fructose corn syrup, none of that. Uh, and he's making a tasty treat that people might actually choose to eat. And also one other interesting detail is that he's really focusing on microdosing here. Um, so it's really, these products aren't gonna give you the best sort of high for your money. It's more about um, sort of the experience of it. I think that's worth noting, right? Because you do have to look at the THC level on some of these packaging, right, to understand, should I be eating one kale chip or should I be eating the whole bag of kale chips, for instance, right? Exactly. Uh, let's talk to you about some of these potential partners here that Pantry is trying to line up with uh, for this launch. Okay, so it's being spearheaded by some celebrity chefs who are actually New York City based. Um, the Brooklyn chefs called the Franks. They own Frankie's Fantino Group. Uh, which makes, uh, which has several restaurants in Brooklyn and also makes premium Sicilian olive oils. Love their restaurant here in New York. Yeah. Like amazing pasta. <laughs> so some of those olive oils are actually included in the product, so they're infused with the THC. Uh, they also are partnering with um, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk uh, and Vayner Media and also Green Street, which is a cannabis marketing agency. Um, so a lot of big names on this. How big of a trend is wellness in cannabis right now? Wellness is really huge. So unfortunately, the science hasn't really caught up with it yet, but there are a lot of purported benefits, not only to uh, cannabis and THC, but other cannabinoids such as CBD, we're hearing everywhere ever since the farm bill legalized hemp. Um, so you're seeing CBD in everything from you know face creams to uh, even mascaras, and it's being purported for everything from insomnia to anti-inflammatory effects. So this is really a huge area, and it's a great area to sort of capitalize on if you're getting into the industry. I guess just lastly, like, how big of a backfire could this be if the, the tests themselves don't hold up and this is found not to be necessarily kind of a blanket solution for every single consumer who wants to purchase something like this? Definitely. Well, uh, as I mentioned, the science isn't quite there yet, uh, but, you know, as sort of regulation eases up on uh, cannabis and uh, hemp, we'll, you'll start seeing more results. And if it's found that CBD and THC in cannabis isn't really sort of like a cure-all, it could definitely backfire for some of these companies that are sort of trying to make health claims. But for a company like Pantry, which is really just uh, putting the emphasis on quality ingredients, mm. I think, you know, it, it it's really about the quality ingredients that are going into the food as much as it is about the fact that sort of there is THC mm. in there.